G'day, in this video we're going to be looking at how to make multiplication of fractions even easier by using this thing called cancellation. Uh, it's basically a way of simplifying as you go along. So I'm just going to launch into this with an example. Say for instance we were multiplying 9 tenths by 5 over 12. Now without cancellation, what we would usually do is we would just multiply straight across. We'd get the numerators here, 9 times 5 is equal to 45. And 10 times 12, these are the denominators, and we'd multiply those and get 120. And then we could simplify there by finding common factors that go into both. But what we do with cancelling down is we find common factors as we go. I'll show you what this means. So, for instance, 9 over 10 times 5 over 12. We're going to look at any of the numerators here and compare them to the denominators. And is there any common factors that go into both? So if we look at 9, for instance, here, and 12, they have a common factor that goes into both of them. 3 goes into both. So we divide both of them by 3, and we reduce down as we go. So 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And we can do that when comparing any of the numerators with any of the denominators, even for different fractions, as you see. So another example is you can see 5 and 10 have a common factor of 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Okay, so now what we can do is we can multiply directly across as we did before, but with really much easier numbers. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And you can check this, and we can't reduce down any further, but it's a lot easier answer than what we had before. And so that's what multiplying fractions using cancellation is. I'll give you another example, and then we'll move on to a harder example. Okay, what about 4 over 7 multiplied by 21 over 24? And we'll see what that equals, but first we will cancel down. So comparing the numerators to the denominators here, uh, we could go, okay, 21 and 7 here. They have a common factor, which is 7. 7 goes into 7 once, and 7 goes into 21 three times. Comparing 4 to 24, they have a common factor, which is 4. 4 goes into 4 once, and 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Alright, now we can directly multiply across. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. And as you notice here, I missed a little common, uh, common factor that 3 and 6 have, which is 3, but I can deal with that here. Okay, so 3... And 6, I can cancel this down. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So I could have done it either here, or I can do it over here. But it makes life easier as we go along. Alright, what about one last example? A final example where this is much bigger is, say, 6 over 15 multiplied by 5 over 16 multiplied by 8 over 9. Now, if we were just directly multiply this across, we'd get some big numbers either here, which would be quite difficult to cancel down and quite uh, take quite a bit of time. It's much faster to simplify as you go. And so let's start off, say, by looking for the obvious factors of both. 5 and 15, well, 5 goes into 5 once, and 5 goes into 15 three times. Uh, 16 and 8, 8 goes into 8 once, and 16 divided by 8 is 2. Uh, we also have 6 and 3 here. Uh, okay, 3 goes into both. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2, and 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. You can see here that we have a 2 and a 2, so 2 goes into both of those. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. I don't think we can do any more. I, no, we can't. So let's just multiply this out now. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 times 9 is 9. There's our answer, 1 9. A lot easier than getting this big, ugly answer on the other end than we would have got, and then trying to cancel down. So that's just the way we can do that. So as you can see, cancelling down is a pretty handy little thing to be able to do. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you need more help with fractions, in the description below, you will find a link to an entire playlist looking at all sorts of things to do with fractions. How to add, how to subtract, how to multiply, and even some little shortcuts you can take. So I do recommend giving that a bit of a look. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.